Today we're going to walk you through a whole day in the life. Today is Wednesday, January 24th, and Wednesdays are my busiest day of the week, so I figured it'd be fun to take you guys along with. We're starting the day with a track workout here with our boy Drew. He told me that if it was below 30 degrees, he would not show up. Uh, it is above 30 degrees, but it is raining, so he's out here. Happy he's here. We're going to do a track workout. The workout this morning is two miles, easy warm up five times, uh, it's a broken 5K, so five times one kilometer at goal 5K pace, which is about 5.30 per mile, uh, with a one minute, 15 second walking slash standing rest. And then we have four times 30 seconds, uh, just gonna push whatever pace feels good for 30 seconds, and then a one minute jogging rest, and then a two mile cool down. So that's the workout for today. We're starting here, and we've got a whole bunch of other stuff planned for the day. Let's get started. So the 5K that I am running is in about 10 days. It is the Orlando Magic 5K down in uh, Orlando, Florida. I am going down there with Brooks running to do uh, some content stuff. It's the same weekend as the marathon trials for uh, the Olympic team. So we'll get to go check that out, plus run the 5K while we're there. And uh, my goal is to break 17 minutes, hopefully. That'll be uh, at least a 45 second PR. My current PR is like 17.45. So try and break 17 minutes. It comes out to like 5.30 pace, give or take. 5K is a very uncomfortable race distance um, because it's, it's a little bit slower than your mile time, but it's like three times the distance. So it's very uncomfortable. And it's just 17 minutes of all out as hard as you can go. But all right, just finished up the two mile warm up. We're getting ready to start the workout. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning was uh, I have to do this workout fasted because I'm doing blood work in a few hours. Um, so I didn't get to fuel properly like I would for a speed workout. So I'm really curious to see if I'll notice a difference because I'm really intentional about fueling normally for workouts like this, uh, but I haven't had food for like almost 12 hours. So we'll see what happens doing a speed workout fasted. I have a feeling we'll be able to get through it, um, but I'm curious to just find out how my body feels, but let's start the workout. Okay. Waiting for my GPS to catch up. Nine, eight, nine, nine. All right. All right, first rep came in three minutes, 23 seconds. So like 527 pace. So for these one minute, 15 second rests, uh, they go really quickly. I've only got 10 seconds, but I like to, I'll tell you on the next rep. Three twenty-three again for that one. Five twenty-seven pace uh, for these minute fifteen walk slash standing rests. I try to move a little bit because uh, as soon as you stop moving, you can feel the blood and everything start building up or whatever's going on in there. But try to move around a little bit. Try to get the heart rate down. 
and just get ready for the next rep. It goes very quickly. A minute 15 is fast. Rep number four, we had three minutes, 20 seconds. It's like 524 pace, roughly. Got one more rep of these. These feel really good. I don't know, maybe there's something to running fasted in the rain. Cause the lights feel pretty good right now. Lap number five was the fastest. Three minutes, 20 seconds. It's like 523 pace. Now we've got four times 30 seconds on with a one minute jog rest. So for these, the plan is just to, whatever feels good for 30 seconds, just hit that. Ideally faster than what I was just doing, but no specific paces. But uh, happy with how that went. Hit the paces, exceed them a little bit, so good work out today. We'll finish it up. So scale one out of 10, feel like if I needed to just hit the assigned paces at 5.30 pace for the kilometers, I probably would have been like seven or eight out of 10, but for these workouts, I always want to use those assigned paces as like a starting point and then push to where I'm running like nine or 9.5 out of 10, um, like RPE scale. So I ended up hitting like the low 520s. I'll put the splits up on the screen, but uh, great workout today. Doing the two mile cool down right now. And then uh, we're heading to Ways to Well, which is a wellness spot here in Austin. We're gonna do some blood work. Gonna do an IV drip and uh, learn some other things about how we can optimize our uh, health and fitness. But uh, yeah, great workout today in the rain. We'll see you here in a little bit. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you in real life. What's up, man? Bryson. Nice Bryson to meet you. Yes, sir. Nice What's up, man? Through. Bryson, nice to meet you. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Yeah. Alexa. Nice to meet you. I'll make you a bag. So I'll do the bag. We'll get your blood drawn at the same time. Um, so I'll draw our blood with the IV. That way we, we just do one stick. Cool. Cool. Love it. Blood draw plus immunity IV. I don't feel sick right now, but I traveled this last weekend. I'm traveling all next week. And whenever I come back from traveling, I always feel a little beat down. So immunity might not hurt. So... See what uh, that's how this goes. Whatever that means. Whatever. Do you have a fear of needles? I don't actually. I don't mind getting my blood drawn. I, um, I've only had it drawn once, and that was about three or four months ago. Uh, that was my first time ever doing blood work, and uh, I learned so much. I'm excited to see now how like my training has or I'm excited to see how my blood work has changed now that my training has changed from when I did it a few months ago because I do, I was in like peak marathon prep, uh, and now. A lot lower mileage, lower intensity stuff. So I'm excited to see the uh, the differences. But no, not afraid of needles. The YouTube will block us if I show the needle going in. I mean, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Maybe put a little blur. I've on. shown I've shown worse things on camera on YouTube. Podcast is like right here. <laughs> And I'm like, what if we paid everybody? That's the most recent yeah, one? No, I'm just kidding. We're not doing that. But that's... Oh my God. I'll sign anything? No. <laughs> I shared the Nillies. <laughs> can't, you know. can't say I don't know for sure. <laughs> but we'll see, I guess, right?
do. Without the new shot involved. Yeah, Saw somebody not uh, do it one time. I was like, not risking it. Yeah, I think I was doing the. Do you know uh, what all is in there? Mm -hmm. So there is going to be B12, B complex, vitamin C, glutathione, which I'm going to give you separately, and zinc. How often can you do uh, an IV drip like this? Could you do it every day if you wanted to? I'd say there's probably a max dose of maybe like three, for a thousand liter bag, you probably want to limit it three or four times a week, I would, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Just because it's a lot of fluid to be yeah. taken on top of what you're already drinking on your everyday right. life. So this is like more of a supplement to kind of get you up there. Could yeah. you replace like a multivitamin with this? Uh, theoretically, probably. I would still probably say take a multis yeah. just because you can only do this, you know, three or four times right. a, a week. But you probably develop some scar tissue there. And yeah, from doing it so often, I would probably avoid doing that like that often. Right. Mm -hmm. What's the benefit of an IV drip like this as opposed to like just taking a vitamin? You will lose a lot of it whenever you take it orally just because okay. of your stomach, right? Right. Um, your stomach digests as much as you can. You lose a lot of it just through byproduct and waste, whereas this is directly in your bloodstream, so it'll absorb immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. No shots at all. <laughs> 15 minutes in, uh, slowly but surely. Getting pumped full of these vitamins. Uh, I've heard that these make you feel like Superman afterwards, so we'll see. Pretty easy, pretty painless. Just come in, stick a needle in, get your vitamins. Yeah, I think I'll definitely be doing something like this uh, before and after traveling. Something about traveling, it's like you're around people, you're on flights, might not get a lot of sleep. Um, I always feel just beat down after traveling a lot, so coming in doing something like this can help prevent sickness, uh, keep your energy levels up, all that good stuff. So I'll probably be coming in, doing stuff like this more often as I'm traveling a lot. And then uh, maybe even after like a big race or before a big race, uh, just coming in and make sure everything's optimized. So we'll be chilling here for the next 30-ish minutes till this thing drips into me. Is this uh, salt this water is, again? This is the glutathione. Oh, okay. Sweet. I'm just going to push it slow. What does uh, glutathione do? So it's a master antioxidant detoxifier. What does that mean? And, so and detox, help me understand. <laughs> like helps detox things out of, toxins out of your body. Okay. What kind of toxins might I have? Uh, it depends. Could have uh, many just from everyday life. Okay. Um, foods you're eating, processed foods. It really just depends. And it was, what was it? What was the name of it again? Glutathione. Glutathione. Is that a type of vitamin? Yeah, it's an amino acid. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, can we ask you some questions? Just oh. about like Waste Well? Yeah. Okay. It's like super casual. Uh, so what are some of the services that Waste Well offers and, and how could somebody come in and utilize that? So it's really personalized care and that's what's a real unique um, feature of Waste Well is that we really get down to you and focus on you, which on an average doctor you don't normally get to do that. You have seven minutes and you're usually like, wow, that's it? <laughs> you know, you get all really hyped up to go to the doctor and you take off of work or, you know, you get out of school and then it's seven minutes long and, and that's it. They just prescribe you with something and, and we're not like that. So blood work, IV drips, stem cells. Uh, I know you guys do peptide stuff too, right? Yeah. Um, a whole entire peptide therapy offering is is within our website, and you're able to go online and, and delve into that and, and purchase it right through our site, which is really exciting. So for like somebody like myself who doesn't currently have any injuries, uh, I don't need stem cells, I don't know if I need peptides, um, is there benefits to coming in to you guys and like and still seeing you, even though you don't have any current problems necessarily? Absolutely. That's what the preventative care is for. Um, we have a lot of patients that come to us for more so that maintenance, that checkup. So you may have had your blood work done a year ago. You might need a follow-up, and um, you might need some uh, new health tests, a, a GI map. You you may see yourself uh, allergic to something more so recently, and you want to get an ALCAT test, which is a, an allergy micronutrient testing. Um, the goal is for you never to really have to go to the doctor because you're already on top of it with us. I love it. Ways to Well, uh, if you're here in Austin, Texas, come check them out in person. Even if you're not in Austin, you can still work with them virtually. So they've been great. Also, they've been on Joe Rogan podcast, so you know they're a good place.
can't beat Kava. Cannot beat it. All right, we just left Ways to Well. Now we got to get some food. Uh, we came to Kava. Kava is so good. Uh, actually, I actually haven't been here for a while, so I gotta look at the menu again and see what I'm gonna get. But it's like Chipotle, but you know, slightly fancy. Yeah, it's like Chipotle. It's like more Mediterranean, I think. So it's good. I'll show you guys. All right, I'm so hungry. It is 12:30. We still, have, still haven't eaten yet today because I had to fast for the uh, blood draw. But we're finally gonna eat. We've got a uh, braised lamb bowl from Kava. I'm pumped for it. Just finished up lunch, but I'm heading back home. I've got a couple calls this afternoon, uh, and then I've gotta get a lift in. And then we've got our group run tonight with cool down. We'll see you back at home. Just whipped up a smoothie. I've got a call in six minutes. Days like today where I am just going nonstop from thing to thing to thing and I don't have a lot of time to eat, don't have a lot of time to make food, um, things like a smoothie or even like going out to kava. I don't eat out a whole lot, but when I'm short on time, it just makes it a little bit easier. So I'll obviously try and find a healthy spot like kava. But, but in this smoothie, we've got bananas, blueberries, dates, honey, peanut butter, coconut water, kefir, protein powder, and I think that's it. A lot of stuff in here. Uh, I drink this same smoothie pretty much every day. It's good, it's healthy, it's convenient. All right, I am in the home office here. Uh, I've got a call in one minute with uh, Brock, my business partner, for Switchback every Wednesday at 2 p.m. We uh, meet and we discuss upcoming plans for the business, any updates within the business. Uh, we have a lot going on right now. We are currently moving our fulfillment from my house right here to a third party fulfillment company so that I don't have to manually, personally pack orders every single day because we're growing, we're getting a lot of orders and it's just, it's very time consuming for me to be packing orders. So easy thing to outsource. So we're moving that. So we gotta get all of our inventory to this new company. We also have uh, some new products coming out within the next couple months, new flavors, some new apparel. We have a big campaign we're doing in March. So lots and lots of things coming up, lots of things to go over. So that's what this call is gonna be about. Yeah, every Wednesday we meet, talk about all things Switchback. So it's exciting. Oh, there he is. The the new ink. Oh, I haven't seen the new ink yet. How is it? Oh, it's it's uh it's been peeling the past few days, but it's better now. Damn. Let's see it. Well, the vlog wants to see to, it. More work to be done. More work to be done. Nice. Look at that. Very soon, back in March, but uh, it'll be it'll be nice. That's how you run faster races, right there. More ink. exactly. More ink. <laughs> faster times. All right. Just wrapped up that call with Brock. This guy wants to say hi. Magujis, this is Makua. And then uh, right after that call, I also just had a couple calls with some clients. So just wrapping stuff up for the day. And I know people are gonna say, when did you work? Um, I will say, as a content creator and a coach, the vast majority of my time is shooting content, whether we're at the track, whether we're uh, at Ways to Well, shooting content out in the community editing content, on calls with clients, on calls with uh, other people about business things. Lots of calls, lots of content. Busy, but fun. It, it really never feels like work, so I, I really love it. And um, I'm so grateful to be able to do this every day. But uh, I'm gonna go take these guys for a quick little stroll around the neighborhood, and then I'm gonna get in a lower body lift, and then we gotta head to cool down for the group run that I lead every Wednesday night. So, let's do it. I try every single day to 
get out with the dogs uh, at least a 20 minute walk around our neighborhood. Uh, they'll actually normally run with me every morning, like three to four miles, but obviously today uh, we had our speed workout, so they couldn't run with me. And then at some point in the afternoon, uh, I like to get out for a little walk, 15, 20 minutes, just around our neighborhood. Uh, I'll take them for another stroll. So fortunately they didn't get their miles in today, but they're at least still getting a little walk in. They just have so much energy and I gotta get this energy out of them. All right, I like to start every strength workout with a cold plunge. It's cold in here, uh, but we gotta get in here anyway. So I'm gonna do about two minutes in here and then uh, we'll hop out and start our strength workout. Here we go. kind of tired, kind of drained in that like mid-afternoon, evening time of day when a coffee or some caffeine sounds pretty nice. Instead, I just hop into this bad boy, wakes you right up. You feel so freaking good, so fresh. Whew! It's like a second life to the day. All right, so today's strength workout is gonna be targeting the lower body Hitting the legs today. I love stacking a big speed workout or a long run with a lower body strength workout. So for today's workout, I'm gonna keep it super short, super simple. I'm gonna pick three exercises. One is gonna be some deadlifts. So I'm gonna work up to a heavy deadlift and then we'll hit some lunges and then we'll hit some box step ups. Those are my three favorite exercises. So many people overcomplicate strength when it comes to running and using strength as a supplement to running. And you don't have to. Today, I'm gonna to spend probably 30 to 40 minutes in here, max. It's gonna be really quick, really simple workout. Three exercises, very functional, and we'll hit every part of our lower body. So let's get into it. As you guys know, I love starting my strength workouts with a good band warm up. So we'll do some lateral walks here. Then we'll hit the hip flexors with some knee raises. We'll hit the glutes and hammies with some kickbacks, and then we'll finish with some heel elevated deep squats. I like to just sit here at the bottom, pop back up, squeeze the glutes at the top, boom, band warm up, done. All right, moving on to deadlifts. If you guys don't know, or if you missed it, about a month ago, I successfully hit my goal of deadlifting 500 pounds and running a sub five mile in the same day. We did this uh, late December, about the week before Christmas. Uh, I have a video linked on my channel where I go through the whole day uh, showing myself deadlifting 500 pounds, running a sub five mile. Very, very proud of that accomplishment. I worked really, really hard, specifically in the deadlift, uh, hired a coach. Deadlifted twice a week for three months and uh, we did it. So now I'm really just deadlifting based on whatever feels good for the day. Don't have a specific plan or anything with it. Just want to maintain strength um, and use it to help supplement my running. All right, we've got 405 on the bar. Gonna pull this for two sets of two reps. So nothing too crazy heavy, but we'll have to work for it. was two sets of two at 405. Now I'm gonna drop the weight uh, back down to 315 and I'm gonna do a couple sets of five here.
All right, just finished up our deadlifts. Now we're gonna superset some box step ups with some lunges. But we're starting here. I like to add the knee drive because it helps a little bit more with balance and you get a little extra hip flexor work in there too. All right, now we've got walking dumbbell lunges. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, classic movement. I do five down this way, turn around, and go five back the other way. Three sets of this, three sets of that, super setted, and that's a leg workout. That's the strength workout, super easy, 40 minutes in and out, just like that. Now we're gonna head to downtown Austin for a cool down, which is the group run that I lead every Wednesday. We get about 100 to 150 people out there every single week. It's a huge group, even when it's rainy and gloomy out there like this. So we'll see you down there. One thing that I completely forgot to mention was that every Wednesday I get to pick up my raw milk. So. When I'm on my way down to Austin to where our group run meets, I stop by this place where I, uh, I get to pick up my milk. I order it earlier in the week, and then I stop by, go in, grab my jugs of milk, and we're on our way. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, let's go. Woo! Solid turnout. Even in the rain, let's freaking go. Just wrapped up five miles with cool down. We had a great turnout. I'd say like maybe 70 people there, give or take. Uh, maybe even more, still in the rain. It basically poured rain the entire time, uh, but still got plenty of people out to go run, which was awesome. Um, every Wednesday, if you're in Austin, Texas, if you're local or if you're stopping through Austin, come run with us every single Wednesday, 6 p.m. We meet at uh, Lou's Barton Springs. There's more info on online. Um, I'll put a link down in the description, but super fun run tonight. That makes it uh, 13 miles for the day, plus the leg workout. I'm tired, but let's go inside. We'll uh, get some food. I think Bree's home, so we get to see her. All right, Bree whipped us up some delicious dinner. We've got some homemade ramen right here. Look at that. Let's take a little bite. We even got the egg in there made with bone broth. Oh, that's pretty good. Little mushrooms in there. Damn, thanks, Bree. That's pretty good. I'm also gonna have some chicken breast that we uh, made last night, some leftover chicken breast because I need some meat in my life and some raw milk too, so. Great day today. A very busy day indeed, but uh, a fun day. And I wouldn't trade it for anything else. So, thank you guys for watching. This was a day in the life of me. And uh, yeah, solid day. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one.